Welcome back, everyone. So. We're at Sun and Fun. Uh, we were blessed with getting media credentials. It's our first time applying and we got it. We're joined with uh, Martin from uh, H55, which is Bristol powered by H55. Martin, tell me a little bit about H55 and, and what you're doing. Well, first, thank you for having us on your show. This is uh, really cool. As you said, I'm Martin. I'm CEO at H55. Joined the company a couple of years ago. We're okay. uh, based out of uh, Switzerland. Most of the team is in Switzerland. This is where the development work is happening. This is where all of the engineers are mostly based at. And we have a production facility in uh, Montreal, in North America as well, to serve our North American uh, customers. Right. So H55 basically is a technological spin-off from the amazing project, which was called Solar Impulse. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it. Yep. Amazing project where the team put together an aircraft that actually flew around the world on electric power without right spending any fuel. Uh, it took them a while to put all this together, about uh, more than 10 years, but eventually they made it. And at the end of the project, they asked themselves, what do we do with everything we just learned? Right. And instead of building an aircraft and commercializing an aircraft, they looked at each other and they said, let's take all of the technology development and the learnings that we had on having propulsion systems, right. electric propulsion systems, which they had developed with Solar Impulse, and let's make a business out of this. This okay. is now seven years ago. Okay. And here we are today with a system that is about to be certified with EASA. We're completing all of our battery testing this summer and okay. we're completing the complete system testing and certification in half year 2026. You'll see the system a little bit later on and we'll talk a little bit about the technology. So what we do is we engineer this system, we build the batteries, we build the computers basically that control the system. And we work with a motor supplier, an electric motor supplier, uh, which we oversee basically to introduce the motor in our system. Our first application is getting this system installed in this beautiful aircraft, the BRM B23, which we are now renaming the B23 Energic okay. uh, with its uh, electric version. This aircraft is being certified now in parallel to our system certification work. And we are actively selling this aircraft with the electrical system on board. We started selling the aircraft in Europe a few months ago. We already have a decent uh, order book orders that are coming mostly from flight schools. Right. Because the interesting application for this aircraft is flight schools. The aircraft flies basically one hour, which is perfect for a, a PPL. Right. Uh, and uh, now we're launching sales in the U.S. We're here at Sun and Fun. This is the start of our North American trip. Right. We're we're going to be basically going up the coast in Florida yep. and then eventually we're going to truck the aircraft to different states all the way to California and then coming back and finishing our trip in Hoshkosh okay. at the end of the summer. Okay. So it's a super important phase for us and a very interesting phase, I would say. And you're going to be stopping to see us at our home airport at XO4. Absolutely. Parker, correct? Absolutely. Well, we can't wait to see this thing fly up there. Yeah. Uh, how many out flight hours roughly have you got on this frame? We're about this one's 70 like five hours on this okay. airframe. This okay. is the second aircraft that we built. Uh, we had another other aircraft built which flew for about four years. Okay. We are just retiring it now because of the, the battery situation and the upgrade in technology. Okay. But we have now the second aircraft and we're presently building the third and fourth aircraft right. still in experimental uh, flight permit mode in order to support the certification program and be able to deliver aircraft basically in 2026. Um, we'll take a look inside a little bit later with uh, Sebastian, I believe, but um, what avionics are you putting in the standard? We have the Garmin standard avionics that comes with from Bristol. Okay. And we are looking now to add the specific avionics for the uh, electrical system. We're not yet integrated into the Garmin system. We're okay. in discussions with them. So we have our separate display for the uh, electric controls. Okay. But the basic avionics comes standard from uh, from the aircraft, from the OEM. That's absolutely awesome. Yep. And what, what website is it that can pe people can come and check out? Uh, H55.ch is... Uh, where you'll be able to find us, h55.com, actually, sorry, on the on the website. Okay. We also have a microsite for our across the U.S. trip. We're going to be posting uh, all kinds of media information there to follow the, the trip, basically, and okay, the, awesome. the progress. And what's that microsite? 
you know, the... <clears throat> I'm not sure. I think if you go through the a35.com website, you'll be able to access the, the microsite. We'll get Derek to put that down below for good. us. Good, okay. good. And one, one other piece of information which yep. I'd like to share, we were just named in the top 10 technologically advanced companies by Fast Company. Okay. So we've just received this award last week and uh, awesome. we're super, super proud about it. And we've had some uh, media postings uh, on that subject. So go check us out on LinkedIn. Go check us out on Facebook, on uh, Instagram. We're quite uh, present there. That's absolutely awesome. Well, it was a true pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you very much for your time. Thank and you very much. Stay tuned, everyone. We're going to be taking a look around the aircraft, speaking to the test pilot, speaking to Sebastian and some of the other higher level leadership within the company. And we're looking forward to seeing you at your home base. Yep. Uh, later on in April, I'll, I'm going to drop those dates uh, on probably one of the later episodes. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank again. you, everyone. Bye bye. Sebastian, tell us about your baby. You're kind of the, 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 so, the genius, right? Yeah, I'm the, uh, genius, I don't know, but I'm uh, the CTO and uh, also I'm a pilot, so okay. I fly also that aircraft too. Okay. So, I mean, I can tell you how it flies and so on, but today uh, we are here to explain a bit about the technology that we've developed uh, for the Bristol aircraft and that we will uh, certify now soon. Awesome. So, um, okay. Okay, propeller, standard propeller. Then we have an electric motor. This electric motor has the same power as uh, Rotax 915, so 140 HP. Okay. But uh, we have two motors basically in one box. Um, the rule basically to certify an electric propulsion system is really to have full redundancy. So you have half of the motor shut down or dead. You still have to be able to climb. At 5,000 feet and so on. So basically you have two motors in one in there. Um, same you would have basically on a twin engine. Okay, so we come from the motor back. Yeah, exactly. Behind the motor we have what we call the motor controller. So basically the power electronic feeding the motor. We have two power electronics in the same box also. So that if there is any failure, you still have propulsion working. Um, and behind this we have another box that we call the power distribution unit with all the fuses, safety feature, contactors. And behind the power distribution unit, you have basically two battery systems, also redundant, we call them strings. So two strings basically feeding the two ports of the motor. Um, here in between, we have what we call the battery management unit. So these are the two computers that you normally have behind the cockpit panel. Okay. They are monitoring the batteries, they are monitoring the power distribution and communicating with all the displays that you have in the cockpit. Also the warning panel, initiator panel, throttle and everything. So these are the two brains basically of the okay. system gathering information and controlling um, all the different equipments that we have there. Um, just behind the batteries, so we see here a uh, mock-up of a battery module. The, these battery modules basically are dispatched in the aircraft. So we have 80 of them in an aircraft and they are in the wing. And also we have some in the nose to compensate for the weight basically and keep um, the CG of the aircraft because um, our electric motor is one third of basically the weight of a combustion engine. Right. So you still need weight basically in the nose so that um, it's not too light and right. it can fly. So having small battery modules that you can dispatch all around your aircraft is really a good feature so that you can adapt the propulsion system to many different airframes. So you can accurate, uh, basically accurize your CG, uh, exactly. your weight and balance Ex off of the batteries. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So mainly we replace the fuel tank by batteries and we put some batteries in some project we have them in the nose, in some other project we have them in the tails. Okay. Completely depending on the airframe that you equip the, yeah. and the needs. Makes total sense. So, tough question because I know we're going to get asked it. And oh yeah. I'd rather you <laughs> answer it. Is uh, what's the safety protocol for anything if, with the batteries? If there's any kind of thermal yeah. runaway or yeah. anything like that. So to certify these batteries, basically we have to prove in one of these batteries here we have 36 cells. Okay. okay. So battery cells, and if there is cells catching or cells catching fire in a battery pack, right. basically you should prove that you have no propagation to the other cell. Okay. So when, when one cell is burning, yep. uh, you have something like 1000 degrees Celsius. Right. 
and we have basically a lot of firewalls, uh, radiation walls and okay. so on between the cells to make sure that the fire is not propagating okay. and self-extinguishing without damaging the structure of the okay. aircraft. So basically it's built in its own little cell and that stops it from being able to get to any exactly. other cells. Exactly, and okay. each cell basically is segregated uh, from the other with firewalls and protections to be sure that you have no propagation of the fire yeah. and self-extinguishing functions. Makes total sense. Awesome. So I'm joined with uh, Kristen from H55, which is uh, powering the Bristol. Um, energic. An energic. So, um, Kristen, you're a pilot, okay? Tell us a little bit of how you got involved in the program, and then you've got a, a kind of a bomb to drop towards the end with uh, <laughs> coming and visiting me in, uh, what, three weeks? So. Yes, just about three weeks, yes. Uh, well, I got involved because, obviously, Solar Impulse uh, captured the nation, okay. right? And I was very fascinated. I've, I've been in aviation for more than 30 years, starting okay. out as a pilot, uh, and found myself in more sales, marketing, PR, business development for all things that are innovative and progressive in aviation, was very involved with the early days of some of our other very famous brands, right. uh, composite, parachutes, you know, okay. glass cockpits, all of that. So uh, it really speaks to my passion. And when I learned that H55 was ready to come to the U.S., I reached out to some of their folks. And I also have some friendly, uh, it's kind of a circle of us in the innovation. Yep. And and I said, yes, let's do this. Um, I didn't realize how far they are, and I think that's going to be kind of the bigger news is people don't realize how far the technology is. It really isn't the future, it's now, right? right. And, and with the H55 being a spin-off of Solar Impulse, right. they not only have proven that technology for 5,000 hours plus, yep. they've, it's also 30 years of, of intel, intelligence. It's not really 30 years 30 ago? 30 years oh, wow. behind that. So, okay. yeah. so it, it's new, you know, really what we're more dependent on, of course, is the battery technology um, advancing. But as far as our systems with H55, we've done some revolutionary things in terms of how we have really come to a point that we prevent a fire. That's really important when right. we're in the air, right? Yep. It's not about putting out a fire at the side of the road. It's really about preventing one from ever happening. That really gives me peace of mind as a pilot. Right. I, I've raced across the country many times and okay. done a lot of VFR, low flying and, you know, small aircraft. So That's... it's important. Uh, there is that. There's also the redundancy of okay. actually having a high-performing electric aircraft, but also having the redundancy is if I have two engines. Yeah, Sebastian was telling me it's kind of the each each unit is built to be its own cell, its own unit, and mm -hmm. then it can't try to affect another one. And you know, next thing you know, you've got the chain chain link effect, and you know, right. it's not going to end very well. So yeah. well, that's also perfect. Held, right, and also held to the same uh, level as a twin engine performance when it has to perform on one engine. Right. So that, and it, it performs better. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah that's great. So uh, that's very exciting as a pilot. Right? Yeah, and, and that's also, absolutely amazing. I'm I can't not, wait to get yes. up in it. As much as I love my bows and everything else, you know, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to flying without headsets and having that sort of, yep. you know, that. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> a, I, somebody said to me the other day, because I was telling, you know, the, the, the groundbreaking news coming in just a second, but um, I was telling somebody about it and they were like, man, it's going to be weird to not hear the engine. I'm like, is it? I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what it's going to feel like. I think it's going to be memorable for sure, um, but I think it's going to be a magical moment. So oh, Very magical, yes. Well, on that note, go ahead, tell everybody what we're going to be doing. Okay, well, H55, so as uh, you've spoken about with our other leadership, we've partnered with Bristol as the uh, sort of example of general aviation aircraft, electric-powered general aviation aircraft, and we are showcasing the aircraft across America. So we'll be going through eight states, and we're very happy that we're going to be at Apopka with you yep. and your team at the uh, flight line services. Yep. And the other groundbreaking is that we also were very pleased to hear that Fast Company just announced us as the number 10 out of about 568 or so companies in transportation as far as you know the leading innovators in transportation. Awesome. So we're very excited about that. That's awesome. Yes. And we're hoping that everyone will come out and uh, take advantage that we're here at Sun and Fun for multiple days. 
Uh, you can check on the website for where we're going to be across America. Like I said, it's eight states. Uh, from here, we'll be in Vero Beach first. Uh, we'll have a mixture of open houses. Again, we have a lot of the leadership that's going to be with us. People can meet and greet with them. Right. Learn about the aircraft. We're doing some discovery flights, so be sure to check out the website. Put yourself on the list interested for a discovery flight in the uh, Bristol Energic. Come and check it out. It's a beautiful plane. Uh, Derek already caught some uh, footage of me getting in and out, so that should turn out being interesting. <laughs> yes, and we're hoping that all of our, you know, our women in aviation, the 99s, will be coming out. I mean, something else I wanted to share that I was yep. super uh, thrilled to learn is that our lead test flight engineer is also a female pilot. So it's very exciting. Uh, with all of these things, we have, you know, any of the uh, Civil Air Patrol units that are there, EEA chapters. Please come out and see you know the future is now thank you very much take care and stay safe everyone yes so